Okay, hello and welcome to hopefully a correct video about how to do garlic and honey infusion. I have done two videos of this kind and I haven't exactly gotten it correct. So I have two jars and in the past two videos, I've made a couple of mistakes in what I've said. In one video, I've said ginger all the way through the video. And in another video, I said something not quite correct about the burping process. Um, I said something about keeping the lid open for a while. That was not correct. So this time I'm going to try to get it correct. So, all right. So I'm not going to be showing the process obviously because I've got it all complete. Now, if you saw one of my latest videos, you, you would see that I had one jar almost all the way to the top. So I transferred over so that it wasn't quite so high. That's one thing I learned. All right. So what you will need for this honey garlic, you will need some garlic peeled down to the clove with no skin on them and when you get down to the clove portion you can cut the cloves if you like or you can keep them as cloves but you would be ultimately eating them once they reach about two to three weeks and so you may not want the whole clove so you may want them skinnier I cut them lengthwise. Some I kept whole, um, but you may want to cut them smaller. And then you will need raw honey. And you'll need um, a fair amount, but you will not need as much honey as you will need garlic. So I, I mean, I could make another two jars with what I have. I mean, I would be able to duplicate this with this many cloves and this, this much honey. I would be able to duplicate what you see. So, um, after peeling all of the garlic, you would put them in a clean jar and then pour honey on top, your raw honey. And now I'm not quite sure why you need this much extra honey, but as you see, I don't really have that much extra in this one, but I've seen people have a fair amount of extra honey. So in this one, I have a little extra honey more so than this one. Um, people also have talked about using the extra honey for salad dressings and toast and things like that. So if you plan on using the extra honey, then I guess you would plan on making the extra honey. Okay, so that's the, the part in which you actually are making it. The, now, the mistake that I made in one, in one of the videos is that I knew from the videos that I watched that there would be this gassing process. There would be this fermentation process in which it would start bubbling. So I knew that that in the process it would bubble and 
it would start to form a gas and it would start to push up the lid. So the video that I watched, it talked about that. So at first I left, I only had one jar. And so I left, left my lid open a little bit. And then I watched another video that it said that in order for the fermentation process to work, you had to keep the lid on, on tight. And um, then once a day, you had to burp it. And you had to just burp it quickly so that you didn't, I don't know, do something bad. Um, so anyway, I revised my method. But yeah, at first I just simply kind of left the lid just kind of off and just somewhat off. Uh, so, and then I also had an almost full jar and then the videos talked about not having it too full. So I went kind of half and half. And again, I really don't know why, but that's what people said to do. I mean, I probably, if, if I didn't have that much, I probably could have gone up a little bit more, but you know, I had, I wanted just to split it. So it ended up being this much for two. So I just recently burped it. So you won't see any bubbles in here, but there will be tiny bubbles in here between the burps. Um, but eventually the lid would just be a little bit up a little bit. Um, I mean, if you didn't burp it, for several days. This was what I was afraid of. That's why I left the lid off a little bit. I was ex I was afraid of like poof. Um, but it, it doesn't get that bad, uh, especially if you're watching it. So uh, because there was somebody in the comments on one of the videos, she said, "Oh, I didn't know about the burping process at first. So she had gone like, I don't know, like a month or something. And she said, yeah, when I went to take off the lid, she said it went poosh. Well, I was afraid of like a complete explosion of like the, whole, the glass and everything. So that's why I initially kind of left the lid off. But apparently it can't ferment if, if you don't have a tight seal. So, um, I, apparently there's really nothing to be afraid of. Um, you know, you can go a month apparently, uh, if, even if you don't burp it for a month, but certainly you can go a couple days or so. Um, so anyway, there will be tiny bubbles forming so that um, each day, you know, you just, and I didn't even have to mess with my ring, the ring on here. It just sort of burped itself. The ring kind of went up with the lid. All right. And then, um, you know, every time I'm in the kitchen, I recode it. Okay. Now, as far as when these are done, you can eat them at any time. You can start eating them right away if you really dare to. Um, and take it from me. You can eat them anytime, even today. Um, I 
can speak from personal experience. Um, but apparently the sweet spot is two to three weeks. And, and then it can be much longer than that. And I will show you what they look like. Let's see if it burps at all. No, it doesn't because I just recently burped it. Now, if you can see in here, without me dumping it, I don't know if you can see really the burps. I did, well, I don't know if I took that big of a one. I ate one. Woohoo, what an experience. I don't think I've ever eaten a whole garlic in my entire life. But it was good. Oh, the crunch. And coating with coated with honey. I really am not a honey eater. But oh, this honey. But I mean, the garlic, oh my God. That garlic, oh my God. In fact, I ended up going to sleep for the afternoon. I don't know if I should blame that on the garlic or what, but I mean, I had fire in the mouth for, oh, I don't know, six hours or so. I want to make sure I really tighten it. So I'm keeping them upright. Um, one video I watched, it showed storing it like this. And, you know, that's not a bad piece of advice because then, in fact, the only thing is if it's not perfectly, perfectly sealed, then it could leak. But you know, I want th I want the thumbnail to make sure that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I want the thumbnail to keep showing me. No, I'm going to be self-conscious now. Um, anyway, that is how you make garlic with honey. And I think I am, well, I was going to say that I'm going to also try it on toast. But no, I think that's not true. I've gotten the taste of honey in the brain now. So I think I'm going to buy some cinnamon toast and I'm going to try it with honey because I now just have the flavor of honey in my head. So I'm going to try just, you know, honey without the garlic, you know. Um, but I mean, I could just, you know, use the honey from the garlic, but I just don't think that that would taste really good. Now, with salad, I could see, um, you know, the using that, uh, that honey with salad. The only thing is, is I've never had honey as a salad dressing. And I don't use, um, I've never used, uh, I, wait a minute, I don't generally make salads for myself. Well, I don't really cook for myself is what the problem is. I'm going to try to change that in the future because once I start doing this kind of a thing, I mean, this is really going down to the basic level. This is starting to use really raw ingredients. Um, because I think that um, doing something like this is getting down to where it's 
having something that your body is starved for um, because now I mean my body is like ready for this and unfortunately the the brew is not ready for me because I can't picture myself doing this again two days in a row I had a piece of garlic <laughs> I mean, I can't believe I did it again, knowing, knowing what it tasted like the first day. And then I was starved for it. So I did it again. I, I had another piece today. I went back for that crunch, for that honey flavor. And that was kind of ridiculous because I, I kind of knew what it, knew what it did to me. So I am going to wait the two weeks now. But I think that that crunch will start to go away. But I do feel like my body is starved for it. So I want to get to where I'm finding those types of things that will talk to my body in those ways. That's why I brought up ginger. And then I'm going to start confusing ginger with with garlic again in this video. But I do think my body is also starved for ginger. Ginger and garlic, apparently. I didn't know I was starved for garlic, but I have realized that my body is starved for ginger. Um, so those are two basic ingredients that I know that my body craves. So there's got to be something that I'm attracted to that, you know, um, that it needs. So when your body starts receiving those types of things that it needs, then I believe that it won't start asking for chocolate and cakes and like little Twinkies and things like that when it's searching out. It's like on a search and find thing and it will say, I don't know, I don't know what I need, but I need Twinkies or something like that. And it's all it really needs is something like this. And then it's satisfied because I didn't need to eat dinner tonight. I had my piece of garlic and I didn't need dinner. I still don't need dinner. Maybe that's not the best plan, but I didn't need anything for dinner. And I'm totally satisfied. So anyway, um, so anyway, maybe doing this kind of thing and maybe the ginger tea, I'm going to, I thought I was going to do it today, but tomorrow, I'll go to the grocery store and then buy the ginger root and maybe lemon, maybe not lemon, but I think probably because I watched another video um, about the ginger tea and um, so uh, doing both of those things, this and that. And then maybe from there, I can then also incorporate salads and start to have like basic foods like whole foods in the house and then start to build up basic earthly food supply that my body needs and uh, because I could use to lose a few pounds, but not only that, but feel healthier. Feel healthier and, you know, like your skin changes and, you know, you just feel better. You know, you just, everything works better. Um, so, um, I would say, that's the video. All right. Thanks for watching.